Hey, what's up amigos? Today I'm going to show you how to turn this photo, which is static, into this using Photoshop and Virtual Rig. Stay tuned. So in order to have a virtual rig shot, you will need two different shots. One with the car in the frame, and then another shot without the car with the same frame. So you'll basically need a tripod. So you have a steady shot that doesn't move. You shoot the car and shoot another one without the car in it. And the reason why we need this shot is that's what we're going to import into virtual rig and add motion blur to it. Then bring it back to Photoshop, cut the car, place it, of course apply, you know, all these shadows and bit of motion blurs to the reflections of the tree and so on and forth. Now, if you notice, I didn't have an assistant or a driver that I can place him or her there. I would recommend having someone in the car while you apply motion blurs, so just to make it look realistic. All right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, export this shot. Make sure the quality is at 100%. You can import it as a PNG as well, as a lossless format, but for this exercise, we'll just go ahead with this. Then I'm going to go and open up Virtual Rig and uh, desktop. Then I'm going to open up the file. Let's... Um, Maximize this, oops, that's too much. Maximize the window. All right. So now we are in virtual rig and we'll be mainly using the motion blur sort of vector or tool. Now, if you remember the car was somewhere around here and we'll start drawing lines that way. Just extend this to the end. And uh, right now it looks so weird, but we gotta fix that in a bit once we add more. So one on the bottom, that looks weirder. And then one on the right. Hmm. All right, that's not bad. Bit one here. It's getting there. <laughs> I know you'd be thinking what's going on. But we actually need to balance things out. And um I see in can't remember. Yeah. That is sort of a good vector, then add another one from here to here there you go that's better that's more realistic now to the other end there you go now I wouldn't say this is perfect but you need to maybe fine-tune it a bit add more vectors or remove and fix things around. However, usually in such cases when you do a rolling shot, you would have the things at the, at the, um, at the front blurry, but the things at the back that are far away are more static and are, are not as blurry as the things in the front. So I'm going to click on this tool and I'm going to modify the arrow. The arrow on the right will set the speed to the um, objects at the far end of the point. So I'm basically decreasing the speed at the far end and that will make it more realistic. Let's do that quickly. There you go. One more to go. And that's more like it. We 
might just decrease a bit of the speed and overall. So let's say around this. So this speed coefficient controls the entire blur of your scene. All right, cool. So I think this is somewhat good to start with. Usually the skies are not blurry because they're a far sort of an object. So we can mask that out in Photoshop. Now what I'm going to do is um, set the quality to whatever quality that you want and then render. That will give you the final preview of what you're working on. Good. All right. Let's import that into Photoshop. Now let's open this into Photoshop. All right, now that we have this image open in Photoshop, it's time to cut the car out. Now I'm not going to explain how to use the pen tool, and that's what I usually do. But there are a lot of tutorials that would show you how to do so. In my case, I use a curves just as a guide layer because I can't see the areas that are dark over here when I use the pen tool, then I'm going to remove the curves once I'm done cutting the car. There are a lot of tutorials back on YouTube on how to use the pen tool. What I'm going to do right now is just going to speed this video. A selection. I'm not going to feather it. Just find it better this way. Uh, however, I'm going to save the selection, and I pressed M on the keyboard to bring up the selection uh, tool, and I'm going to select save this as a save the selection as a car. Yep. And what I'm going to do is apply a mask. There you go. Voila. All right, now it's time to import that backdrop. And I'm going to import this. I'm going to bring the layer on top, like so. Well, so far so good, but we are missing a few things here, like we they have anticipated. Let's look at the original photo. That will be the shadows. So how are we going to draw the shadows? So if you notice, there is one shadow and there is another one right here. Let's start with the, with the bigger one. We're going to start just right from there. So I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to have a, you know, a layer somewhere in between. And I'm going to do this. So basically, let's say the shadow comes down here. It's a bit rounded. Let's have a look at that. So now it comes this way. All right, and then Let's say it will end up somewhere here. I'm just going to fix this because that's easier to do like so. Okay. Make selection. Now if you want to add uh, a feather of two, that would be fine. Let's fill that layer with black. There you go, we have a shadow. Let's bring it down. Deselect this. So our shadow is okay, but it requires a, bur uh, a bit of <coughs> blurring, so I'm going to add a blur to it. So filter, blur, and then maybe Gaussian blur. Let's 
quite more realistic, to be honest. Let's write that for now. All right, so this is one, one shadow. And there is this other shadow that is closer to the car. I would say, I would say here, this. So let's start off here, ends up there. And it's a bit blurred, sort of faded out. So let's create another layer. And I'm going to use the pen tool. Let's look back. So somewhere around here. Maybe let's start here. Hmm. Okay, let's go with this. Radius five. This time, just for the sake of it, we're going to add a shadow. Let's bring the opacity down, but not as much as the first. And I'm going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I think that's good. But one thing that we need to do, I'll apply a mask. Let's see how we're going to do this. So I'm going to apply a mask. I'm going to use the gradient tool. And um, it's going to be black. So let's select the color. The color is black. The idea is to gradually sort of fade the shadow out. So I'm going to click and drag. It's a bit too much. Do that again. Yep. I think somewhere around there that's fine. I think the shadow is just too big. Let's try make it a bit smaller. like so no I think it was okay no I think we need to make it smaller but sorry yeah just like that and maybe just fade this part out Oops. more This is like a bright area. I think we need to really be careful. Yep. Additionally, what we can do is just get a brush and darken. I think with a flow of eight. Yeah, just just below the car. Oops. I think that looks okay. And there you go. Now we have something that is a motion. We've added a shadow. I think we can furtherly improve the shadow, but I'll let you experiment with it. For now, I'm running out of time. I'm going to blur these to make it a bit realistic. Pen tool. Make selection. There are two. I think I've selected a bit. It's all right. Filter, blur, motion blur. And that should match a bit the, the motion of the object. So yeah, that's it. Click OK, deselect, and we have that in motion a bit. You wouldn't want that to be too blurry because it wouldn't be realistic. We'll do the same here. All 
I'm doing this roughly, but you can fine tune that. Filter, motion blur, good enough. And uh, we'll do the same down here. Filter, motion blur, and there you go. Now we are left with one challenge, and that's, if you notice at the back here, let's see how we can, um, All right, I'm going to do a quick selection. Again, uh, you can fine tune that better. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mask this out. So select the brush, X, and mask background out. There you go. And we're done. Amigos, I hope that was again helpful you can apply again the same techniques that we've used to finalize this image you know like contrast sharpness and uh, dodge and burn or whatever you think is right and yep that's about it please check out all my other tutorials don't forget to follow me on instagram see you with the next tutorial